Good morning everyone, please continue watching to see how I make homemade Braunschweiger using the following ingredients. So first, you'll want to end up and take your beef tongue and skin it out. And then what we'll do is we'll cube it up into one inch cubes. And same with the pork fat, it's cubed and then cut up the beef liver. We'll take all three of these and put them into the blender and make it a nice smooth consistency. The nice thing with making homemade Braunschweiger is you don't have the ingredients that store-bought does of the preservatives. Some also end up and add like corn syrup to it. So we'll go ahead and get these put in the blender and continue with the process. Start with the beef tongue. Beef tongue is nice and fatty and then we end up and add the liver. Since I do a higher fat carnivore approach, I really like adding extra pork fat in here. It gives it a nice smooth consistency once we get it cooked and we'll blend it again towards the end. You'll notice I shut the sound off as I start to blend this because the blender is very loud. So I'm just gonna get my hands washed up here and then I'll get the blender turned on, lid on, and then like I said, the sound will be off because the blender's really loud. Here we go. So as I said, you'll want to end up and scrape down the sides to continue it to get this a nice smooth consistency. So some of the liver kind of gets wrapped around the top. Just scrape that off, blend it back in, and then scrape down those sides. As you blend, some of the fat will accumulate on the side, but that's okay. Just scrape it and blend it again. Okay, so now that we have it all blended, we'll end up and put it in two loaf pans and you're going to want to put those loaf pans in a bigger pan so that you can do it in a water bath. We'll, and then we cover it with aluminum foil as well. So we'll just take it. You can see that it is a nice smooth consistency. You won't want any lumps in it. So then you just pour this into the two loaf pans and then add the water so you want to make sure when you're adding this Braunschweiger mixture to your loaf pans that you end up and keep it both your loaf pans the same uh, fullness so that you end up and cook them at the same rate so you'll want to cook it in a 300 degree oven till the internal temp of your Braunschweiger reaches like 160 165 turn this around so it's a little easier to fill take these blades out so that it's easier to scrape the rest of the mixture out you can see how the blades of the ninja end up going all the way down so it keeps it a nice smooth consistency and blended throughout.
Okay, so now that we have them filled to the same, we'll end up and add this cup of water into the bottom of the pan. And then we'll end up and cover it with aluminum foil so it these end up and sit and steam versus turning brown. You don't want your bronze wagger to get brown. It's not like a meatloaf, so we'll cover it in that water bath so that it cooks evenly and doesn't get brown. Okay, so now that it's come out of the oven, you can see some of the fat rendered and it's cooked, but it's not brown like a meatloaf. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll put it back in the blender, blend it until it's smooth, such as this, and then we end up and let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours, and you can put it in plastic wrap and roll it into the shape of a log and have the true Braunschweiger shape, and then you can freeze part of it. Otherwise, you can just use a knife and eat it as it is. It is great to be eaten with pork rinds or by itself. Enjoy!